This simple trick can make the narcissist obsessed with you. Everyone, I trust that all of you are doing well. Today, we have a captivating topic to delve into, one that might pique the interest of some, even though it's not a practice I usually advocate. We're going to explore the concept of how to make a narcissist become deeply attached to you. I understand that there may be various reasons why you're curious about this, whether it's for some amusement or an attempt to regain a sense of control within the relationship. Before we dive into the intricacies, I want to stress that what we're about to discuss today involves engaging in psychological maneuvers, and it's not something I typically endorse. Dealing with individuals who possess toxic traits and personality disorders can be quite complicated and potentially harmful. So, if you decide to explore this avenue, please proceed with caution and be mindful of the potential consequences that may arise from it. Now let's delve into this important topic, but remember to approach it thoughtfully and responsibly. If you find this video valuable, please show your support by liking it and subscribing to our channel for more insights. Feel free to share this video with anyone who might be interested and join the conversation by leaving your thoughts in the comments below. Let's get started. Creating a deep attachment with a narcissist requires careful consideration and a strategic approach. In dealing with individuals who exhibit toxic traits and personality disorders, it's crucial to maintain control over the situation. By retaining a degree of detachment and adopting a composed demeanor, you can establish an advantageous position within the dynamic. This is the first key tactic to explore in your quest to understand and navigate the intricate world of relationships with narcissistic individuals. But let's not stop there. There are several other strategies and insights to uncover on this journey. In the following sections, we will delve into more tactics, offering you a comprehensive guide on how to navigate these complex relationships. Understanding the intricacies of dealing with narcissists is essential for your personal growth and well-being. We appreciate your interest in this important subject and look forward to exploring it further with you. So, stay tuned, and let's continue on this enlightening path of discovery. One effective strategy to consider involves the hot and cold approach, a method reminiscent of how narcissists create entanglements. This technique relies on the strategic use of intermittent rewards and punishments, which stimulate the brain's reward and punishment receptors. By applying this psychological tactic, you can enhance the emotional connection with the other person, leaving them yearning for you, always anticipating the next warm and attentive moment. This approach fosters a deeper and more intense attachment. In addition to the hot and cold method, cultivating self-assuredness and self-possession can be beneficial. Make it known that you have a certain level of reserve and detachment, signifying that your sense of self-worth doesn't hinge on external validation or compliments. Project self-confidence and high self-esteem, demonstrating that you don't require validation from the other person. Show the narcissist that you are a valuable prize, someone to be coveted. Maintain unwavering confidence in your inherent worth and act as if you are the central figure in the situation. This approach will capture the narcissist's interest, prompting them to elevate you to a pedestal, convinced that they cannot afford to lose you. It is a strategy that not only secures their attention, but also reinforces your self-worth and value in the dynamic. Practicing the hot and cold technique involves the deliberate strategy of not being constantly available, denying the narcissist unrestricted access to you. This approach serves to amplify their longing for your presence, making them crave it even more. Additionally, it allows the narcissist to take on the role of rescuer, creating space for their active pursuit. It's important to recognize that your actions are likely to be mirrored by the narcissist, resulting in a reciprocity of your current behaviors. Crucially, conveying the message that you're not perpetually at their beck and call is essential. This can be achieved by staying busy, maintaining an independent life, engaging with friends, pursuing hobbies, and immersing yourself in activities that do not depend on the narcissist's involvement. This shift in mindset enables you to focus on the intrinsic value of your daily life, reducing your reliance on compliments and validation from the narcissist. As you embark on the journey to make a narcissist become addicted to your presence, it's crucial to be prepared for their incessant attempts at contact and to resist the temptation to respond immediately. The key is to remain deeply absorbed in your own life. 
The ultimate goal is to diminish your dependence on the narcissist for emotional gratification, allowing you to regain control over your own happiness and well-being. This in turn may lead to a healthier and more balanced dynamic in the relationship. Emotional withdrawal is a crucial step in protecting yourself from emotional manipulation. Although compliments and kindness from manipulative individuals may seem pleasurable at times, erecting emotional barriers can make you impervious to their tactics. This emotional detachment sends a clear message that you don't rely on them for validation or emotional fulfillment, and it projects an image of self-sufficiency and confidence. It's essential to recognize that while these strategies can provide temporary relief and create a potent bond, they may not lead to a healthy, lasting relationship. In the long run, your journey towards self-recovery and therapy should focus on attaining genuine happiness and self-sufficiency, rather than relying on manipulative techniques to get by. Always keep in mind that while these techniques can empower you and boost your self-assuredness, they don't guarantee a healthy relationship. Your well-being should remain your top priority. I have faith that this video has offered you valuable insights. If you're currently going through challenging times and seeking help or further discussions, I encourage you to explore our one-on-one -on -one consultations. You can find all the details in the description box below. Thank you for watching, and I'm looking forward to connecting with you in our next video. Goodbye, and take care.